Today we're going to go over a very simple Power Automate use case. So if you need to send out an email on a consistent weekly or monthly basis and it's taking time out of your day, for example to remind employees about submitting timesheets or to remind department heads about the importance of submitting their budget estimates for the month, we can automate that type of task with Power Automate and it'll be an interesting and simple use case for us to learn about scheduled Power Automate flows. So what we'll do is we'll open a new tab in our browser and go to make.powerautomate.com the next thing we'll do is we will sign in with our Office 365 account. This is the same account that you use for Outlook and Teams. This is going to bring us to this page. This page changes over time, so if yours looks slightly different, don't worry. On the left hand side, there will be a pane with options and we're going to go to create or plus create here. Here you'll see that there are a lot of pre-configured templates that are helpfully available to you where you can connect to different sources and use different triggers to automate things on a scheduled or uh, automated basis. Now you can see what we're going to do is we're not going to go to an automated cloud flow or an instant one that reacts to a button. But we're going to go to a scheduled cloud flow. Now let's pretend that our use case is uh, we want to remind some of our employees to submit timesheets at the end of the week, let's say. So I'm going to go for the end of the week, which for me is the 14th right now, and I'm going to call it 9 a.m. And I will not have it repeat every minute, but I will have it repeat every week. And it's only going to repeat, let's say, on Friday every week we'll just remind them that they need to submit their timesheets. Submit timesheets will be our reminder. We're going to click create and this is called a recurrence. So we've told Power Automate we want you to do this on a repeat basis and we've given it sort of the cadence we want it to operate on. Right? We've told it every Friday I need you to repeatedly send this message at 9 a.m. to the people I'm about to tell you. Well, it knows that we need an action at that time, but we need to tell it what action to look for. So we're going to click that plus right here, and we're going to add an action. And what we want to do is type in the word email, and we're going to go for send email v2. So send email v2 is fairly straightforward. I will pick a colleague of mine. And I'm going to use that custom value right there. Please enter your timesheets. Hi Sean. Or maybe we make it more dynamic. Hi team. Please don't forget to enter your timesheets this week. Thanks Khaled. And Maybe this is really important. We're in a consulting business, for example, and our timesheets are critical for billable hours. So, hi. And the next thing I'll do is I will save our workflow. Now that it is ready to go, that means it's actually sort of, quote unquote, in production. It will take, out, take this action and do it. But we want to make sure it's in good shape first. So we're going to go first to the flow checker. And this looks for errors and warnings and things that are misconfigured. It's not seeing any. And the more thorough one is that we will go to testing. We will manually test it and click test there. And you can see that no issues will be found. We can actually run the flow. And if I check my outlook, I will see that this email has actually been sent out. So this is an example of you know, a very simple scheduled flow that we can do within Power Automate that has a simple and easy business use case. We'll go through a lot more of these in the coming videos.